Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hamzah Rafi Nur Cahya. My study number is Tafin. So today I would like to present the classification of terms for exporting and importing goods. So my purpose to present this to all of you is uh, to inform the audience which terms that specifically belong to export and also to import based on what I found in English for export imports module on page 98 until 104 not forgetting to give examples to make the audience understand the use of these terms so let's begin from export term from the first, we see pemberitahuan ekspor barang PAP is an official document is needed for reporting the goods to be exported to the authorities in the country of origin or the related customs agency. So for the sentence, example is before exporting, ex before exporting exporters must submit a PAP to the relevant customs authority. For the second, certificate of origins, an official document that indicates the country of origin or place of protection of the exported goods. This certificate helps confirm that the goods meet the requirement or tariff preferences or import regulations in the destination country. So the sentence example is before sending goods to destination country, exporters must include a certificate of origin or you can call it COO as confirmation of the origin of the goods. So for the last is exporter. An exporter is a party involved in selling goods or services from one country to another acting as a seller to importers in destination country. So the sentence example is local exporters have successfully increased their market share in Southeast Asian countries. So let's continue to import terms. From the first is we got importer. So importer an importer is a person or a trade intermediary institution that brings in goods from abroad. The imported goods can be used for protection or for consumption purposes. So for the sentence example is the United States is the largest importer of goods in the world. So for the second we got preferential tariff. So for the preferential tariffs are from of special treatment given to certain countries or regions in terms of lower tariffs or the elimination of their imported goods. So for the sentence example is the preferential tariff agreement allowed for a significant decrease in the cost of importing goods from that particular country. So for the third we got customs clearance. The custom clearance is administrative and inspection process is conducted by customs authorities to ensure that imported goods meet the requirements of applicable laws, regulations, and trade requirements before being allowed into the destination country. The, the, the sentence example is we were informed that customs clearance could take up to a week. So for the last is PIP. So PIP is an administrative procedure that must be conducted by importers before importing goods into a country. PIP is usually done through an electronic import notification system provided by the customs authority. So for this sentence example is before the goods can be released, the importer must submit a pemberitahuan import barang or you can call it PIP to the customs office. So 
I think that's all I want to say. I hope my viewers always blessed and given good fortune. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.